<laughs> Alright, hello, it's Demon coming back for another round of the Mass Effect 2. So, uh, sorry for this little introduction bit that's going to be into it. Um, uh, for this episode, it is going to get kind of glitchy and buggy. So, um, what ends up happening is I suffer a lot of technical issues on my part for this episode that I will try my best to edit out. Um, you guys will notice that at the beginning of this episode, it's actually going to take place on the Normandy where I'm going to get the shield coring. And then I'm going to basically start some Mars mission. Now, that part I've pretty much edited all the way out as best I could. Um, I've actually just got us going straight into the mission pretty much after we get the serial coring and we go to Omega and we talk to some people for the mission. Um, this episode is played with some very bad technical issues. So, what I noticed, uh, what I remember from dealing with this is I recently got access to, I think it was during Christmas time, because I forget when I recorded this, um, probably has a date on it, I think it was like a couple weeks after I got it, um, I got a Corsair headstand that goes with my headset, and I've been ha I was getting plagued by audio glitches, technical issues, you name it for this, um, I don't, fr I forget when I started, I just took it out, just unplugged it, I still use it as a stand, I just take it out so my computer doesn't deal with it, so it doesn't suffer a stroke, um, so yeah, basically what ends up happening is when you guys are watching it, uh, there will be no audio from my end. You will hear audio from the game until we get to a certain part in the mission where you will notice, like, you will hear my headset go uh, on and off. Uh, that part I'll probably keep in until we get to uh, when I start messing with it more. Uh, so basically what ends up happening is uh, near towards the end of the mission, I lose audio for the game. What I didn't realize is when I was doing it that I actually had no audio when I started doing this. I thought that was the part where it messed up. Turns out the entire thing got screwed up when I was editing this. So um, I do figure it out. After that point, you guys will start hearing me talking. I think I remember telling myself that I think that was the part I had to edit out. I didn't realize this happened too. So um, I do apologize about that. Um, I'll try to get a more subtle approach into like introducing to the next uh next stage of this so it just kind of goes it flows perfectly into it um so as i was saying uh i'll try my best in the future to keep it from happening but uh as of now it, it should work fine towards the end so you guys will notice bits and pieces are going to be taken out of this it won't be subtle like adjustments into it uh Hopefully it doesn't happen in the future again. So uh, if you guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this content either way. I know the video is going to look kind of like bits and pieces are going to be taken out, but that's the only way to get to get the plagued audio issues out of the content of the game. So again, I apologize about that. So hopefully you guys still enjoy the video, and I will be seeing you still for the rest of these. Thank you.
contact in Ardot Yakshi's location. However, given the reputation of Ardot Yakshi among the Asari, Arya Talok may have tracked her movements. Come on, let me in. Arya's Sorry, fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardat Yakshi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her. Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I started looking. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. I was hoping you'd come by. I'm Ish, and this is Tell. You look like a good person to know. Friendly faces seem hard to come by around here. Reasonable people are more valuable than air in a place like this. You need something? Well, if you'd be so kind, I hoped you might consider a proposition. I need skilled, trustworthy people to take care of a little business for me. Nothing illegal, of course, but it's paying work. What kind of business do you do? Important business. So important that, with your help, we can change Omega. What do you mean, we can change Omega? Well, I didn't want to say anything, but certain people here have business deals with people throughout the galaxy. If we were to have information involving those deals, we could make some ripples around here. That's all I'll say. Find someone else to do your dirty work. Of course. You're not the type to be interested in work that could change the face of a place like Omega. I'm sorry I bothered you. We're leaving. Come find us if you change your mind. seems to care. The medic said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my meth, my baby. I think she was murdered too, and I'm looking for her killer. Oh, thank you. It's so hard when no one believes you. I'm all alone now. Are you one of Arya's people? I'm here to help. Does it matter who sent me? No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead can do something about it. I'll help you however I can. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. Morinth. I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. What kind of a person was this Morinth? I never met her. But Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. That sounds familiar. Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? She controls them through sheer will. The drugs are just a lifestyle. She loves the club, loves the base. She's a hedonist. So this Morinth did hurt my daughter? Is she the one that... that... I will bring justice to the one that did this. 
We swear to you, Neff will rest easy soon. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> My baby. Did Neff hang out anywhere in particular? She was always quiet working here at home. Then, a few weeks ago, she started going out all the time to the VIP area of that club down the street. I think you need a password or something to get in there. The change was so sudden. She just seemed tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morinth. What kind of a girl was your daughter? My nephew had a fire inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative? How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. Said her work was fresh. Do you mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. <laughs> My baby is gone. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry, I just miss her so much. It's okay. We've all suffered loss. I know what it means to lose a daughter. I will avenge her. Thank you. Please, if it helps you find her killer, look through her things. We will be respectful. I'll examine her things. I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime, but don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. I can't wait to hear what you think of Forta. Read the oldest entry. Hey, diary. Cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I'm sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for skewers, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. Oh, am I a freak? Marth is a girl like me. She's definitely not human. Just when we dance and the helix is flowing through me, the way she looks at me with a hunger, a longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She can sell my pieces, we can live somewhere glamorous, like the women in Vanya that Vic Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Close the hollow journal. This is Morinth's work. She's attracted to artists and creatives. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. Then she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. Anyone who successfully hunted sapient beings for 400 years warrants caution. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that you'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. She sounds more like a highly evolved killer than a genetic defective. The condition has been present since my people huddled around fires at night. Perhaps it is symbiotic rather than a defect. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for 50 years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. So we have to lure her out. Exactly. Shepard, you read my mind. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. Hm. She'll come after me. You can draw more in that. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me, but she won't be able to resist you. You are an artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. Your power will draw her in. I'm walking into this place with no gun and no backup? 
I will be in the shadows watching, Shepard. You will never be alone. This I swear. But you cannot barge in with guns and allies. Morinth is far too cagey. She'd simply disappear. This is a subtle, delicate act. Trust me. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. Hello again. Did you find anything? Is there anything I can do to help? I should go. What do you want? I'd like to join the party. This really isn't your kind of place. Afterlife's main floor has lots of drinks and great music. What do you want? Someone told me the rest of Afterlife's nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jarut. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. If someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself.
Hey, what are you looking at? I want you gone from here. Hey, we gotta pay the man. He worked for Hank. You hear that? So, what do you think this now? I'll be on my way now. That's right. Keep walking. The drinks here are so strong. Hey. Hey! I'll dance next to you. If you want to think we're dancing together, go ahead. I do want to think that. much. And you've got an idea for how I can fix that. A round of drinks shows that you appreciate their business. Your rep will improve and you'll make more money in the end. Maybe worth a try once. You better be right. Listen up, everyone! We love having you here, so a round of drinks on the house! My name is Morin. I've been watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? Some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight, it's you. Why is that? You and I want the same things. Do we? Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? You know the artist Forta? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Do you know Vienna? My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? I'm curious about a band called Expel 10. They get in my head and tear it to pieces. They're in concert soon. Maybe we should go together. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that. You know? What do you think of Halex? It slithers through my soul. Seems like we share some interests. I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? Real travel means going to dangerous places. Where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. Violence is a means to an end. Power is that end. Mic off. All right, hello, well, Demon. Um, yeah, so you guys are going to be getting a bit of a jump cut. For some reason, my... I've been having issues with this computer for a little bit now, ever since I got an update for all my Corsair stuff, but um, what ended up happening was it caused my headset to come off, and then it reloaded in. Um, I was able to talk, but it shut my headset's mic off, and now it's re then I had to turn it back on. It messed with my little stand I got that I put my headset on the charge. But, um, yeah, I lost all audio, so there's going to be a bit of a jump cut for you guys, so sorry about that. It's It's been a little bit of an issue I've been dealing with this, this computer for, I think, a couple days now where it does this randomly once in a while. The first time it did it was when I was playing EU4, and, like, I had, like, a giant flicker, and I was told that it might be just something overheated, but I'm doubting anything's overheating. And the only reason I can say that adamantly is because if something was going to overheat... I would notice it because when I checked the temperatures and everything everything was within the normal ranges so I don't know what the hell's causing this so I'm probably going to spend a day to look into that all right so let's go ahead and just keep continuing I love any game where your opponent can believe he is about to win just before you kill him a gift from a suitor the statue's got more personality than he did still he impressed me enough that he finally got what he wanted it didn't end the way he hoped 
I was into dueling for a while. I love the moment you see it in your opponent's eyes. He knows you're better, and he's going to die. Have a Halix if you want. But wouldn't you rather have all your senses be clear and sharp right now? I, I love okay. clubs. People, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood. But here, it's muted, and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? People feel safest right before they die. It's true. We're never safe. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission? I think we share that, you and I. We've both killed many times. But that's where the similarities end. Why do you say that I've killed? What do you know? Let's stop playing games. This actually is a good choice. You can either kill Samar or kill Morinth. Um, if you notice, Morinth kind of looks like Samar in a lot of ways. It's and actually real easy to notice. And they call me a monster. That is the end of Samara's mission. Again, it's one that's based more on uh, based more on dialogue than it is actual fighting. Kind of weird. Um, as I said before, if you did notice a little bit that Samara and Morth pretty much looked exactly the same, at least in the facial features. So when she sits there and says she'll help, um, there is a way to you can have her come with you instead of Samara, but it ends in resulting in Samara's death. Um, I don't know what ramifications that has in the Mass Effect 3, though. I, I considered it before, but never really thought about it too much, but... Yeah, not something I'm not too worried about. I'm more worried about just continuing this game. Um, hopefully I don't get any more of that little audio glitch through the all my stuff. Because I'm trying to get a couple of these missions done today. Uh, mainly so that I can just go back and relax and play some other games. I said my goal for at least this series is trying to get like three of these done a day just so I can say they're done. I think there's only two more left and then we just got the DLCs to finish. I think the next round of things I'll do after I'm done with all the squad mate missions is I'm going to get into the smaller DLCs and I'll probably jumble up everything I'm doing with all those together and then we'll do the actual bigger DLCs on their own. Um, I'll probably do Overlord, um, Liara through the Shadow Broker, and then we'll finish it up with the, um, I think it's Arrival. And then we'll end up, uh, finishing the game out pretty much, so, what's on this? 
could happen to you. No, 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 it won't. Uh, let's see. Alright, so that's pretty much the end of this. So, uh, I will be starting up the recording again right after this. Um, hopefully, as I said before, we don't get that same little audio glitch. It literally could go... <laughs> I could probably go several hours without this happening, or I could go literally an hour and something and magically it occurs. Um, just depends. So, I will be right back for you guys to watch another round of Mass Effect 2.